Okay, hey guys. Well, today I am making, um, I am making nails. Today I'm doing my nails. I've been doing my nails for like a little bit, I would say for like a month. And the reason is because like I do acting and I'm starting to book more like acting roles and all. And well, what happened was I would get my nails done and then two days later they would call me for like an acting job. And like if you have like paint on your nails, or, like if you have things on your nails, you can't like have them when you're working or whatever because you're supposed to just have like regular hands. So I would have to always get my nails taken off and I was like wasting so much money. So I was like, let me just do it myself. And that's how we're here. I want to do these Chrome Hearts gems that I have. I got them on Etsy. I don't know if you can see, they might be able to see. Oh my God, Beauty Guru. I had these before, but I got these done at the nail salon. It's my first time doing them myself. So we'll see, we'll see. I, I, I. Let me just do my little setup. Wait, let me like move y'all back. Okay. Ooh, ooh, girl, almost through the camera. Is that good? I think that's better. Okay, let me get like a little towel napkin thing. I don't know. Do I even need it? I don't even know. They just do it in a salon, so I try to act like, they don't use paper towels. They use like actual towels, but like I'm a little lazy. This is my first month, I said. That's my first month of doing this. So, you know, come me some slack. What else do we need? Come on. This is a light cure thing. It's like a light lamp. Professional gel polish UV LED nail dryer salon. Let me plug this baby in. What else do we need? Um, I'm not going to take my cuticles off because I have to rush because I have to babysit my little niece and nephew. <laughs> so I'm not going to um, do that. This is like builder gel. This is so the gems stay on. And then, oh, I have to file my nails. Is this the new one? Yeah, I'm gonna, let me just file. Okay, this is so discombobulated. I say this every single video, but I'm so serious. Let me just file these real quick. Okay, okay, I'm not doing this right, but like the key that I learned when I file is that you do it like long things. You don't go like this, but like I'm a little lazy. So I'm just going to like do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. But let's have a little talk. What should we talk about? Should we talk about war? Should we talk about life? I really want to clip these because these are a lot. They're really long. Let's talk about school. I am currently a... <laughs> Just flew. I am currently a, a junior in college. If this clicking is annoying for you, I'm so sorry. I cannot control it. But I am currently a junior in college. When I first went into college, the plan was to be a um, dentist. I wanted to be a dentist so bad. And it was because my mom worked at a dentist's office and like that was really all I knew. And like, I would just like love the feeling of having doctor in front of my name and all, you know, it was just like an ego thing or whatever. I got good grades and all when I was taking those classes for them, but they were hard. So after doing that, okay, let me stop because I'm going to start talking and not doing the job. So after that, that's when the pandemic hit and I was not liking those classes online. I wasn't really liking them in person either, but like I would do different things to like distract myself. I don't know how to explain it. I wasn't passionate about being a doctor. Like I said, I just want to do it just mainly for the image or whatever. I learned that in quarantine when I had to take those classes online and I dreaded it. Like it was so bad. Like I hated taking like science classes and all online or like any classes involving math or science because like before when I was younger I was good at you know doing math and all I was good at math but like I just didn't like it like I just got tired of doing it math is like all right like you have to really love math and 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 I was good at math but I didn't love it especially like my science classes I was doing so bad in them and then I learned like where I have the thought of like this is not for me like I cannot keep doing these math and science classes for eight more years so um I made the quick decision, not quick, but like, I was thinking about it ever since I started college to do like something in fashion, but I was always scared because even in high school, I would think to do something in fashion, but I was always scared. I was like, I don't know if I just want to do it. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I just want to do it for the aesthetic or if I just want to do it because like, it's the thing that's like popping right now or whatever. Cause like, you know, on TikTok, you see everyone like going to fashion school and living like the life in New York and all. And so I was like, I don't know if I just want to do that because that's the hype right now or if I like actually want to do it. So when I had that talk with myself in high school, I was like, let me just be a doctor and you know, just do that. And then if later on when I'm a doctor or whatever, I want to get into fashion, I can't cause I have like the money or whatever. And um, that life plan quickly changed during quarantine. Cause I was like, I cannot do this for the eight years of my life. And I think that's really when I like sat with myself and I was like, I like, I don't like this. 
because like before, you know, when everything was like normal, my classes weren't bad. I would do other things to distract me from like my classes. I would just always be out or like, I would always be studying like a cafe or like I would always try to distract myself from how much I didn't really like what I was doing. I don't know how to explain it. I wasn't even enjoying what I was studying. Like you should, it shouldn't be like that. You should be enjoying what you're studying. You should be enjoying college and it should be like that, you know? <laughs> Me trying to rephrase my words. I'm so sorry. I'm the worst at giving story time. I'm the worst at speaking in general. So, look, no words just came out of my mouth. That's all I gotta say. My current major now is like PR slash like digital marketing right now. Currently in my life is just a transition period. And it's me learning how, just learning basically. <laughs> Oh my god, it sounds like I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but trust me, I do. Because I don't want anyone to think like I don't know what I'm doing with my life because I do. And I have some things that like I'm not voicing right now because I don't really like to voice things before they happen. Yeah, so just don't think I'm a dummy. That's all I want to say. But yeah, so that's why I've been taking my Instagram more seriously and all. So that I can meet more people online and just make more friends and all that are in the fashion industry. Because the way I think of it is your Instagram is your resume. So please put some effort into your Instagram. If you are a fashion major or wanna to go to a fashion school or like with any job, make sure that your Instagram looks like presentable to whatever job you wanna have or whatever, you know? A lot of jobs, they look up your name when they see you online. So if they look you up and your Instagram come up, they're gonna be like, uh, who is this? And they're gonna base you off of it. So just make sure, you know. I feel like I'm just saying a bunch of nothing. <laughs> okay. So I'm eight. Now I want to put the base coat on my nails. I'm not, this is not a tutorial. I'm, I keep saying this, I'm sorry. This is not a tutorial. So if y'all need a tutorial, y'all better go somewhere. If y'all need a tutorial, y'all better go somewhere else because y'all ain't gonna get it here. So since we've been talking about fashion, let's talk about like my style or whatever. <laughs> uh, my style has changed so much this past year. From last year, last year I was wearing like a bunch of colors and all, and now I really just wear like black and white. I mean, look at what I got right now. So my style has changed so much. What I wanna do is I wanna get, oh my God, I feel like I'm doing like a beauty girl video. We're gonna get some base gel. I'm skipping a couple steps because I told you I have to babysit. Like I said, this ain't a tutorial. That's all I gotta say. I'm now curing it, I don't know if you can see. My style over the past year has changed a lot. I was wearing, like I said, a lot of colors, now I'm wearing darks. And I think it's been with me going to New York more, to be honest. I've noticed that like, I've always liked the color black, I've always liked the color white, because I feel like those colors make me also look older. That's why I love wearing like trench coats and all this stuff, because I look so young that like, I wanna, make myself look older because you know I look like I'm 13 but yeah I've just been loving those like neutral colors now because they make myself look older and I feel like they go with any outfit and you can always like mix and match them and it's just so much easier to wear more dull colors than it is to wear like colorful things because I like colorful to like an extent I've been trying to make my style be more different like I wait hold on okay I can talk now I I'm done Doing that. <laughs> I forgot what I was even talking about. I'm sorry. The outfits that I wear in New York, I feel so uncomfortable wearing them here. I live in the suburbs. That's another thing. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going from thing to thing, but like, I want to address this. It's very hard for me to post when I'm at home <laughs> because I live in the suburbs and the outfits that I want to wear, I cannot wear here because the way that the suburbs are, you know? There's a way everyone dresses in the suburbs. It's not like New York. Like in New York, you can wear whatever you want. Here, in the suburbs, you can't. You, <laughs> you can, but like a lot of people don't, so like it makes you not want to. <clears throat> I don't know where I was going with that, but like I'm going with it, you know? This is why I can't go from topic to topic. Okay, so now we're gonna try to put the gems on. Like before we put the gems on, we have to put builder gel on. And I have never applied builder gel before, but we gonna try and see how it is. I feel like I'm a beauty guru. Like I'm, it's giving Jackie Einer right now, even though I'm doing a nail tutorial. Whenever I just do the hand thing, you know, I just feel like I'm doing something. So I think I'll just put it on my middle finger and my big finger. So let's try it and see. Hopefully it works. So um, I'm gonna do the builder gel first. It's like snot. Oh my God, I did it. Can you see? Can you see? 
Oh my god, I did it. Yay. So now let's try to get it on the thumb finger. Oh wait, I should have done my other finger. You're supposed to start on your non-dominant hand. No. Come on. Oh. Hey, what's the name? It was Biggie. It was all a dream. Like, damn, that's hot. I finished putting the crosses on my nails. It's kind of hard to see. But um, now I was thinking, let me add something to the other nails. So I didn't want to add like a little dot at the top for the other nails. Oh, I like it. I like a little door. It's a little something. Okay, guys. I finished. I'm about to open my own nail shop. Watch how I be like, these look so ugly. I got the crosses with some little dots on them, you know. Put like a little something, a little something, something. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I know I kept saying like, um, or so a lot. I'm just new to talking to the camera still. Like, I'm still trying to, I'm, look, I'm saying like right now. Oh my gosh. I'm new to the camera and I'm still trying to get used to it. And whenever I don't know what to say, I just say like, um, or so. And I'm trying to stop that because that is not good. And it can be very annoying because I was so annoyed editing this whole video. <laughs> I enjoyed filming this video and doing my nails with you guys and I hope or I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.